Today we're going to be installing a speaker using our Ape Hanger speaker rigging system and our channel hanger assemblies for a strut system channel like Unistrut. We'll start the process by unpacking the drill guide gimbal which is supplied with our uh, speaker rigging system. Um, from that we'll remove the hardware pack and take out the 5 16 drill bit that's provided with that assembly. We're then going to um, chuck that drill bit up into a handheld drill for this process. Uh, we're going to be putting the holes in this three-quarter inch pipe stem you see here that was cut previously. We'll start that by inserting the end of the uh, cut pipe uh, into the drill guide portion of the assembly and tightening the four cap screws to secure it in place. Make sure it's uh, been inserted all the way against the end stop. We'll then place it on the floor and uh, put the drill bit into the guide hole on the side plate of the uh, uh, assembly and drill through the first side of the pipe. Uh, drill just the one side at a time, turn the assembly over, repeat the process. After you've completed that, the bit can be placed all the way in so it passes through both side plates and spun to ensure a, a perfect alignment from side to side. We're now going to release the four cap screws, uh, loosen them so it will release the pipe, extract the pipe, turn it in for end, reinsert it against the end stop, and tighten the cap screws again to secure it in the assembly. Uh, if the end was not cut squarely on the pipe, make sure that the high edge of the cut end of the pipe is against the end stop to ensure a uh, proper inset of the hole. We're now going to drill the first side like we did previously, turn the assembly over, repeat the process on the other side, and like before, uh, after this uh, second hole has been completed, the uh, bit can be inserted completely through the assembly and spun uh, again to ensure a uh, perfect alignment from side to side. We are now going to uh, remove and discard uh, the four cap screws that were used for the, uh, the drill guide uh, portion of this uh, assembly. Um, those are removed and discarded. Um, we will also be removing the cotter pin which functions as the end stop so with a pair of pliers just straighten out the end on that, extract it, and discard that also. This assembly, uh, the, the uh, gimbal portion of this assembly can now be cleaned up and it is uh, ready for installation. Here you see the uh, speaker being brought into the installation area. Uh, this speaker was prepared earlier with its hardware uh, at a different secure location away from the uh, job site. Um, so at this point we're ready to take the uh, gimbal and the collar assembly that was supplied with that. This particular assembly on our price list is listed as the uh, G3 option, which comes, uh, all systems come with uh, one of the gimbal assemblies. We'll move that into place and tighten the bolt to secure it there. Um, notice that the gimbal is free to rotate about the channel. We'll then get the uh, pipe that we drilled earlier and we're going to install that onto the lower portion of the gimbal with a 5 16 by 2 inch long grade 8 bolt and its nut. We're going to <clears throat> install the nut and uh, tighten that all the way down onto the uh, assembly and then we're going to uh, back it off or loosen it enough so that the pipe is uh, free to uh, rotate about the bolt uh, but just tight enough so that there's no side play in that connection. I'd like to point out that we're doing this installation today with something as simple as an extension ladder and also just one, uh, one person. Uh, we're doing this to um, point out uh, what's possible with the right tools and techniques and our single point speaker systems. I'm going to uh, go ahead and get our safety hook up on that truss there. We want to be careful and uh, be safe in all things. Get our um, safety lanyard attached to that. I'd like to also point out that this uh, harness is both a fall resting harness and a work positioning harness which will provide us with a uh, hands free um, work position while we do this installation. Go ahead and get that uh, channel assembly up onto the trusses. We will then go ahead and get a uh, chain assembly across the top cord using a piece of uh, hanger wire uh, bent to a hook to pull that across the top. Top cord connections like this uh, working through cord 
corrugated decking, as you see, can be very difficult with thread type connections, nuts and bolts, etc. Chain assemblies and these hangers uh, make uh, quick work of it. We'll uh, secure that with the shackles. And then uh, when that's that end is completely made up and secure, we'll move, uh, move down to the other end, um, positioning the channel hanger uh, to match the spacing of the trusses. And, uh, and then installing the keeper on that, which prevents it from being uh, uh, moved out of position, and tighten the uh, fastener with a nut driver. We can now uh, install the other chain assembly across the top cord and repeat the process before making that up into what's called an uh, uh, endless basket hitch. Um, once, that, uh, once everything is secure, all temporary slings uh, and whatnot that were used for the installation can be removed and uh, it's ready for the uh, hoist to be brought up. Today we're using a uh, CM Shop Star electric hoist uh, to uh, get the speaker up into position. These are a uh, great little hoist, uh, easily manageable in tight spaces and small and light enough to do something like climb a ladder with. Take that up and uh, hook it into the eye bolt that was installed previously on the channel for this purpose. I mentioned earlier that the uh, hardware had been uh, installed on the speaker earlier at a secure location, which means it will now spend uh, very little time at ground level here at the installation site, which uh, reduces the uh, possibility of damage or theft of the, of the speaker. We're going to attach a small web sling, uh, choker hitch that to the axial tube of the ape hanger, and then uh, attach it to the lower hook on the hoist. Raise the uh, whole package uh, out of the shipping box. Remove all the uh, packing materials, and uh, go ahead and get those on out of the work area. We continue hoisting the speaker up until it is uh, at the elevation required. And then um, we're going to install or going to insert uh, the end of that three-quarter inch pipe stem uh, into the socket portion of the swivel assembly, like you see here. We'll insert the pipe into the socket and install the 5 16 by 2 inch uh, grade 8 cap screw and nut. Also uh, provided with all of our systems are finishing caps uh, that can be applied to the bolt heads and the nuts so that they match the uh, color of the rest of the system. Once that's completed, uh, the chain will be let out on the hoist, which will transfer the weight of the speaker off of the hoist and onto the stem assembly. Uh, the speaker is now installed. Uh, all temporary hardware and slings, etc., can be removed, and um, the hoist can be taken down and returned to ground level. We're now going to move the uh, speaker into uh, its final position. I want you to note uh, how easily this is manipulated around uh, obstructions um, by taking advantage of the fact that it's on a swivel um, and gimbaled to where it can be deflected to the side if need be to get around an object. Uh, on a surface as smooth as Unistrut, uh, even this 124 pound speaker can be easily slid along by hand as you just saw. Um, for a heavier speaker, or perhaps if the uh, surface wasn't as smooth, you needed some more control, a push-pull clamp can be employed, such as this. It's also a great way of moving a speaker sideways if you're close to uh, a surface like a glass surface or a grow cloth that you can't afford to have the speaker sway and, uh, and impact that. Um, we'll continue to move the speaker on down, and you will see um, uh, here's the swivel being used but also um, you'll see the speaker deflected to the side right there, taking advantage of the uh, gimbal connections, top and bottom of the stem, so that the corner may uh, come in and rest between the two rungs of the ladder. Once it's in position, bolts tightened, and the uh, speaker is secured in that location. We're now going to uh, adjust the tilt angle on this speaker using a CM602 mini hoist. Uh, this adjustment can be done by hand, but uh, the method shown here is by far the easier uh, way to accomplish this. The front of the uh, rotation traveler uh, is machined to accept the chain on uh, a small hoist like this directly, eliminating the lower hook. We now have a uh, 
continuous length of chain across the top of the speaker for the uh, hoist body to travel along, uh, which uh, changes the tilt of the speaker, as you can see here. I want to remind you again, this is a 124-pound speaker, and you see it being easily adjusted with one hand. We'll now uh, check the tilt angle with an inclinometer, see if there's any further correction needed. Looks like there is. Okay, this is going to be uh, elevated a few degrees. Very easy. Double check with our inclinometer. Once we're happy with that, that position is retained with a pair of um, compression collars that go on the axial tube, and that's all there is to that. Here you see the pan angle being adjusted using the aim point method, sighting down the axial tube to a predetermined spot in the room. Uh, once the angle is set, tighten the compression collar that is part of the swimble assembly, and that's done. The other adjustment that's available on this system is the, um, the adjustment of rotation. Um, it is most often used to simply level the speaker, but it can also be used to uh, fine-tune the uh, coverage in the house. Uh, it's also used when clustering speakers together, for example, uh, to bring two speakers together in a tight-packed relationship. Um, unlike linking two speakers together rigidly, however, uh, when it's done in, in, using this method, um, pan, tilt, and rotation, as well as splay, is still adjustable on the fly. Here you see the uh, rotation being added in the opposite direction. This adjustment is easily accomplished with a cordless drill or driver and a 916 socket, uh, simply by spinning the drive screw. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for considering APE products. I would also like to mention that many details uh, have been omitted on this video to keep it short. Before using our products, we encourage you to visit our website. On the downloads page are uh, full instruction sets for all of our systems. Uh, please review them thoroughly before uh, attempting to use the hardware. Thanks again.